what is going on everyone and welcome to my channel I am King Vicious Plays and today I'm gonna show you how to get 10 perfect captures very easily uh, today I'll be using a Vara and I'm I have a certain build that I want to show you guys so feel free to screenshot pause video screen capture whatever whatever but the primary uses is, is the enemy radar and the enemy sense and uh, a lot of duration I did personally did not make this build I actually got this build from Brozyme so uh, anyone who's actually a follower of Brozyme please tell him that he actually made a great build I think I modified it slightly a little bit but I don't remember alright so today we'll be doing uh, 10 perfect captures for the night wave um, I remember the first time I was doing this on live stream I had a few people saying hey can I come along honestly this isn't something I like to do with people uh, just because like one small thing could alert like uh, the targets and it can go from perfect to good and you know and so forth so what we're gonna do is switch over to your, your trank rifle then you wanna select poppers so when you pull up the mini map it only shows you where poppers are and um yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so one thing that I did notice is try to kill the en the surrounding enemies around you before you start locating like the poppers and whatnot. Cause not just you, but the enemies can also alert them and change that from perfect to good. Okay, that's just a little tip. All right, so let's switch on over to our trank rifle. Uh, let's locate where the poppers nest is. Well, not the nest, but all right, scat. So. Alright, I think I'm going to just fast forward as to where I found the spot. One second. Alright, so this is where we found the nest. Only thing is, I noticed I don't have any energy. Uh, with Avara, when being in her prowl often you just want energy because you need it for your prowl you need it for your arrows uh, so I'm gonna try to call real quick before going back invisible into my prowl alright so I think that's enough hit my three now you must be stealthy. go back into the trank rifle and then we're gonna try to call the poppers out again uh, and the thing I'll show you why enemy sense I believe is key in this build is because when you look at the HUD after you hear him say that they're on the way or they're coming it shows you where they're located and the thing is like if you're not downwind or like in a certain direction you, that can also alert them so like, it just shows you like alright I position myself to where they won't run into me or should be able to smell me and make sure you're on your sleep arrows or have cycled already to them I always like to make sure I get them like in a group of three or close to it. Uh, I don't see the third one, so I think I'm just gonna tackle these two, and then go search for the third. Perfect, and perfect. See, what I'm saying that's two already. Uh, let's find the third. Stuck in a little animation, I see. Hope it's not good. Nope. Also perfect. Nice. Alright. So let's move on over to our next location. Usually what you want to do is you can probably uncache your three if you want. Uh, just pull up your mini map and trank rifle. Pull out the poppers so it only shows you the poppers. Pull out the map and then select your next destination. Uh, I'm going to skip between uh, flying destinations. Just for video length. Alright. So um... You know, pull out the trank rifle, locate where the target is, and repeat the cycle pretty much. You know, uh, there's the scat. And this is pretty much the same thing. You're going to use the lure, contact them, uh, have your three on, and uh, you're going to pay attention to your mini map try to stay downwind as you as you can see the like from the little particles of the snow particles you can see that it's blowing towards us so we're already downwind and then when you look at the HUD you see that the enemies are further out or they're around the corner we're still downwind so we have that advantage there should be coming right here around this corner um, it's gonna look for them and pre put them to sleep they're already in a group of three bomb there we go missed one there we go and they should all be perfect 
Perfect. Perfect, perfect. That's what I'm talking about. So by now you should already know what I'm pretty much doing. It's pretty repetitious, but still, in the end of the day, I feel like farming poppers is the best for this. Uh, unless you want to do other animals, hey, be my guest. This method still works. Um, you know, but I just feel like getting three at once, three at once, three at once, you know, three, six, nine, and you get the additional one plus two. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, just remind you uh, that I did say earlier enemies around you do alert them So try to take care of the enemies no matter where you are try to get get rid of them first before you start doing any kind of hunting Because I feel like it does affect the animals that are surrounded especially poverty since they're very scared easily so um, Yeah All right I'm actually messing up the call. A melodic response. Here we go. And now, something equally gentle from us. Prepare your trank. All right. So as you can see on the mini map, they're further ahead, not too far. My word. This so these are one of the rare ones because Mahilo has actually scanned it. And um, what I'm going to do is, there we go. And I think I missed one of them. Nope, got all three. Perfect, perfect. And the last one should also be perfect. See what I'm saying? You too can also make this look very easily. So like, uh, like I'm going to do again as always, I'm just going to pull up uh, my Trank Rifle, then a mini-map, uh, locate more poppers, and that's pretty much it. Life was seeded quite literally across its length and breadth. And here now, we see the next stage of the merchant. Alright, so if you made it this far in the video, you see that we're literally down to our last one, but we're still going to capture all three just to capture all three. I mean, they come in groups of three. Um, repeating the same s stuff we were doing before. And um, I just want to say, like, if you guys haven't had a chance to like and subscribe, uh, please go ahead and do so. At 500 subscribers, I will be doing another giveaway. Um, I do I do giveaways on live streams only. Um, I think I might be doing one in the video probably soon, but I also do giveaways in my Discord. So if you want to join my Discord, the link will be in the description below. Um, I also do Riven videos every Monday on YouTube. So stay tuned for that if you're into that and usually have challenges that you haven't done. Feel free to go ahead and check me out. And as you see below, we have completed the challenge. Ten perfect captures, literally in just four tries. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that. Give me a thumbs down if you did not. Either way, I still appreciate you as a person. And um, just want to be out here making great content. So, until next time, hope you guys enjoy. Peace. One of our own believes they are the equal of our foe, and baby, they are acting like it. I was having a great time uh, showing you guys that and um, as I was stating earlier I do make Riven videos and I do upload every Monday a new video and if you want to check some of those out just click on the left hand side and I'll see you next Monday.